Well, we're gonna do the uh, abyss right away, so you have time. Yep, working on it. Yes. And you bought the glass on two characters. I have an Oracle checkpoint too. I have Oracle's checkpoint already, so I'm ready to go. Yeah. All right. You said bang. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I'm gonna jump out of uh, um, party chat here. Yeah, we didn't see your little mic thing, so you can go ahead and disband the party. You can leave party. It'll make it promote me to party lead, and then I'll leave just to make sure. On the other side. Mic check, one, two, three. All right. Bitch, he fucking loaded Call of Duty. <laughs> nope. Get the fuck out of that shit right now. Go ahead and launch this while we're waiting. Wait, this is all normal, right? Yeah. I could probably run it. I'm missing Shadow Jack though. Do you need Shadow Jack? No. Kind of. When you're a hunter, it helps. But he's learning how to do it with a warlock. So I'm running it with my warlock. You can run it with a warlock? Fuck yeah, dude. You should watch my bra or you should watch my activity feed uh, video while you're uh, hanging out. It is epic. Why isn't my saturine rape? You're blowing people up. Oh, there we go. I didn't grab it. My vault is full, my player is full, and all my engrams can't be decrypted, so I'm kind of just like, eh. Oh, it is the... it's like the five minute video. The one with the Warlock and Crota. On my uh, showcase? Is it not on my showcase? Like, go to friends, pull me up, and then view profile. Alright, we're all here. Yay! What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Let me get back on the plate here. I'm gonna have to figure this shit out right post haste. Guardian down. 
I I can't just do it real quick. Yep, yeah, I'm uh trying to figure out why my shit's not working. You there, Buddha? He found it, I'm sure. Find it, Buddha. You find it? Uh, no, I didn't, but I also noticed that. Party chat cuts out once I leave the game, so I'll just check it out later. Um. I missed the hop, the cheese, so I had to take the long route. My bad. Oh, okay. You went ahead already? Yeah, I missed the cheese. Yeah, it's normal. It doesn't matter. Um, Buddha, give me a second and I'll share it with you while he's running it, and then you can just watch it in message. All right, Buddha, you could open up your uh, message, you can snap it, and you should be able to watch it. Just don't click on the video, just, like, mouse over it, and it'll start playing while it's snapped.
Guardian down. Wait, do you guys need me to jump over on this part or jump over? No, I I can get across. He just he just needs because he's a warlock too. He just needs his radiance, and he can res you because it's normal. All right. Yeah, and it's a pain in the dick. No. Yeah. I do. Oh, damn it. I'll go to the side then. Down. Make it up there? Nope. Yeah, it's tough. I can show you with my hunter another time if you want. Guardian down. I mean, I know how to do it. It's just... It, it is time consuming. There we go, that's a good gatekeeper.
I don't want any armor. <laughs> I have enough shit on me. Actually, I probably did get armor, but it's in the mailbox now. <laughs> well, we're gonna wipe anyway. Might as well. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I have enough fucking energy and shards. Fuck it. I'm gonna grab heavy. I'm grabbing heavy. I need to fucking put my fucking right boots on here. I ran that with fucking... I popped a heavy synth for five rockets. It was pretty sad. Wait, why'd you only get five? Oh, I put on my Iron Banner boots for higher intellect. Uh -oh. I was silly. But I got heavy over here. That I left just because. Do any of us need the chest? I already grabbed the chest. Yeah, I grabbed the chest already. Yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we just run through it. It's fine. Yep, we're just going. Just double jump and it'll open up. Oh, that hurt. Apparently, I don't have my radiance on. I'm retarded. Yeah, it does. Guardian down. Ow. <laughs> you hit. You dropped a little too floor. hard. Stop. So you gonna be on the floor, but she gonna be dead. <laughs> I want the light, the nook, uh, light beyond Nemesis. Me too. This is the only fucking ha- that's the only exotic I don't have. It's the last exotic I need. Wait, are you gonna sell that side? Yeah, I'll take this side out too. If I can get up. There we go. Oh yeah, they put the Hive Disruptor back on the Black Hammer, I don't know if you noticed. But you have to rebuy it. waiting for my shots to line up so I didn't lose any ammo. Alright, I'm coming out. Let's go left. We got a streaker down on this side already. Appears to be that way. No, she doesn't sing for a while.
up, bitch. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Here we go. Got my fucking flame shield back. There she is, she's singing now. Oh, fucking thrall in front of me. And she's dead. Whoa, Crystal, hi. How you doing? You got eight seconds. Disruptor is awesome. Missed it. Watch behind you, watch behind you, watch behind you. I try to tell you. I just saved your life, bro. More like brought me back to life. And then saved it. <laughs> that knife that knight wanted you for lunch meat. Oh, what's this, dickhead? <laughs> what a prick. How did you revive right away? That knight was spawned from no, I know, but he died and revived right away. Oh, I bet we're done. I bet it's done now. Yeah, it's done. Oh, that's too funny. You died right at the right time. <laughs> no, we can just rock up right away. That what? I usually do three play it safe, but I can do three downs with one sword. to uh i want you to save the clip you know record it there's gonna be a couple of things that are gonna be different uh i.e i'll probably throw a grenade which you should probably get good at 
throwing grenades while you're holding a sword because it does help. And then I want you, before we leave, to take a double look at my at my loadout. It is shitty. PvP is a different animal altogether. Okay. Alright, inspect my uh inspect my loadout. I took a lot of damage, so I'm gonna pop my super right away here. I will not have that sniper. Oh, not sniper. That sorry. Oh, that's the 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 weapons doesn't matter. Whatever you're proficient at killing with, Fatebringer works really well. Um, I usually do Fatebringer. I just don't have it on me, so this is my backup. I'm talking about my Sung Singer setup here. The way I have it set up is how you should do it. Take note at the armor agility recovery bars. Arcane force. An astral ancestral order. Okay, because you need agility. Agility is going to make you swing melee faster. As well as run faster with the sword. Now, you can really get ballsy and you can put chaos order on, but that drops your armor way down. So you got to be really, really swift. Also, um, Viking Funeral and Touch of Flame are important. Because if you are lacking on rockets you can throw a fusion grenade at crota when you're on the rock and it'll stick them and it'll ignite them oh what the fuck where did this asshole come from alright so you just ran out so we're going oh there's a bunch of fucking dudes over there what the fuck Oh shit. Oh, we can't remember. We didn't wipe. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and wipe. I was confused. Like, why am I gonna die? change the cryptographic for this part. Alright, so uh, you'll you'll want to get uh, good at the timing, but the jump you need is focus burst, and as you're running with the sword, you can, you, you can double jump and then drop, like you just double jump and drop, double jump and drop, and it'll like get you moving a little faster but if you double jump and float too high the boomers are gonna start shooting you so boomer control is a must however you want to do it you can have you know Titan do the bubble method or you can have you know one of your lower levels run out and do the uh, above the cop and shoot the, the top of the the, the floor slash ceiling method that works good too on the right but you'll you'll do right rock usually usually I'm hanging out down here or up here depending on wherever so I usually if I'm up here I'll pull out galley you know and I'll just double jump float aim shoot Double jump, float, aim, and then shoot again. And then after two rockets, I'll run out here. And, you know, this is where you kind of have to trust your better judgment. When it's on hard mode, it takes four galleys to take that bitch out. So, you need to kind of jump and then just kind of be quick. And don't stay still and just kind of do this a lot. That's what I do. Is I just double jump first a lot. If you ever see me in hard mode, this is what I'm doing a lot, is just kind of this. 
And then when it drops, you grab the sword. Usually I'll hit two thrall if I can. Two or three thrall if they're nearby. That's going to help build up your super a little bit. And then you'll come to this rock here. The second you get to this rock, you're going to want to get on the lower rock and duck. Because that'll put you just low enough to where you can see Crota's face, but he won't shoot you. And at this point, this is where I throw a grenade. This is where I'm just like, boop, and try to stick it to his head. Because you, uh, you can throw a grenade and not have to drop the sword. And then that's where the ignite damage will start ticking damage on a shield. And then that's when you say fire. You always count one Mississippi after you say fire. Assuming everyone is ready and shoots. So you'll crouch, you'll throw a grenade and go fire. And then one Mississippi and then float up. And then melee, melee, and that'll pull you to it. And then right trigger three, four times. Probably three times. And then you'll use your, um, you'll, you'll float back this way. And then you'll use your melee to get you back on this rock. And then duck and you'll say fire right away again. When I'm moving out, about to this point here is when I say fire a second time. And then I'll melee to the rock usually. And I'll say fire. And then I'll jump back and I'll melee melee. Um, and then I'll right trigger him down. And then I'll just usually right, you know, just melee back out this way if the sword is there. If not, then, you know, I just try to jump my way. But you do the, the double burst jump float method. Because that'll get you moving. And then I'll keep you up and down so that Crota doesn't shoot you. Now, as a floaty warlock, you can still make this jump if you go right here. And then just float up. If you need to run in for orbs, for health, you can. Apothesis Veil is a good helmet to have because you can just pop your super if you have it. And then it'll get you your health back while you're waiting. Do the rotation. And then it's, it's a, it's a two-step process. It just takes a little bit of practice. I'll run it so you can see how it's done. And then, uh, then I can let you run it too. Actually, we're going to, uh, did you do the heavy ammo glitch already? Yeah. Alright, so we'll get your heavy up, and then I'm going to, I need to secure this checkpoint before we continue so that you can, you can get it back. So that you can practice and then I'll, I'll rock it for you and you can try I said I, I want to secure this checkpoint so that when we're done I can pop on my other type uh, on my other character and I can uh, invite you back you can get it and then we can uh, then I can you know then I can um, so that I can rock it for you and you can practice, unless you don't want to. Huh? Yeah, man, practice is what, why we're doing this. I'm just giving you the opportunity to kind of have the observance option, just so you can kind of see how it goes. Oh, I gotcha. Well, any, uh... Any helmet that you can pick up an orb, it's just really hard to get orbs on normal. And it's really easy to get your super up on normal. Are you ready to go? Yep. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna run out and grab the chalice quick, because I'm red bar. Alright, then I grab it, and I try to get a couple of thrall with my sword. Alright, and I get here, I crouch, go ahead and fire. There's my nade. Melee, melee. And then right trigger, right trigger. Try to get out of there. 
that's the trick is getting out of there because you can't tell when his shields up when you when you ignite him so it's all it's all counting and we don't have a titan so uh i'm gonna have to take care of the uh the boomers on the right there I forgot about that part. I used to, I'm used to Can having a Titan. Yeah, dude. I'll give you a rocket. So, you kind of saw how to, how to do it. I'll let you do it. Absolutely. So, you're saying you don't, you just hit, how much times do you hit them every, you go up, like, every drop? When I float in, I use the melee just to get me to him fast, and then I do three right triggers, and then I jump out. But you need to get to him fast. So if you slice at him with your right bumper by accident, you need to pull back on one right bumper. So you'll essentially want two to three hits on him. If you can get good doing it as a warlock, it's a, it's a feat to do it on your warlock. But you can actually just like you can you can right trigger the shit or right bumper the crap out of him if you want. And it's five right bumpers and then get out because it's fast. Or you can or you can be fancy like me and do um, um, right trigger and then right bumper, right bumper, right bumper, right trigger. That's one of my favorite combos. I usually do that on hard mode. <clears throat> You're bearing the sword, you call it. Everyone ready? Yep. Let's go. You're gonna go out and you're gonna grab the chalice right away. You missed it. Oh, no, you got it. Alright, it's down. Go get it. Sorry, one one of my rockets missed. All right, go is down. All right, now get out. And oh shit, I got to reload and we'll fire. He's down. Oh shit, you're gonna get boomers. Yeah, it doesn't last that long. All right, just run back over here and then double jump up the ledge. Oh, you gotta double jump fast. Double tap A fast, fast. You got focus burst on? You gotta get all the way to the corner. You might not have your agility cranked up. See, I can make it. Yeah, you gotta double tap it fast. Watch out, Buddha, watch out. Let's see if I can distract that asshole. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know how he shot you through the wall, but he shot you through the wall.
<laughs> That's all cool. I need to not have my black hammer. That's for sure. <laughs> Praetor's Revenge works good for oversoul rapage. Pop a heavy quick before we go out. Alright, let's go out. Alright. Don't forget your chalice. That's an important step. Where is he? Oh, he's left rock. There you go. He's down, he's down. Yeah. Alright, get out of there. Oh, I gotcha. That happens to me all the time, I get too greedy. And rotate. Why is he rotating so fast? Because the sword is over. He rotates right after the sword gets used. Also, keep in mind that I have increased melee speed on, whereas you might not. Is it because of your armor? Yeah, it's my uh, claws. I'm gonna be 32, I'll be ranked 31. Yeah, that makes a big difference. You're 32, bro. No, when I use the claws, I, I don't have a max yet. It's got three more upgrades for it. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Yeah, that's uh, that's important. So keep that in mind. Um, but I mean, it's good practice. But yeah, I'll run it this time here. And you can watch again. Yeah, good job on the boomers, by the way, Buddha. Now, if you want to solo it, you drop the you throw the nade at him and then you drop the sword and then you shoot him with two galleys and then you pick up the sword and then you do a three sword method where you just hit him for 
you just hit him like three or four times and then get out and then drop the sword and let it burn out. Ah, uh, you go underneath because there's no gatekeeper. Hey, he's making orbs, yay. Go. I must have missed my grenade. No, that was my bad shot. I, I didn't get my shot. Oh, I gotcha. No worries. Because when I was fired, a thorn just came out of the blue block. Oh, no way, really? It takes two galleys on normal, doesn't it? Yeah, it's only two galleys on normal. It's like one galley in primary and uh, a grenade. Which, I think I stuck him with a grenade, but I might have missed. I don't know. It's, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Then it's three galleys, or two galleys in primary, both primary. I'll give it one more try. I just want to see, I, I just want you to see the second phase, how I do it the second time. And then I'll I'll let you I'll let you practice for days. So how funny was that part where Kathy Griffin took, takes that fucking huge pipe rip and fucking chokes on it <laughs> in four rooms? Buddha. Oh, they might have cut that. <laughs> no, they shouldn't have. Where he's on the phone and he's like. She takes a pipe rip though, like a pretty big fucking rip on a pipe, fucking like lights up a whole big bowl, and then like she's like, "So Ted, <coughs> what's the problem?" <laughs> oh, they definitely cut that out. That might be on the director's cut part. <laughs> that part's awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, she's like super young. Or maybe. That could be. Oh, uh, because you killed both of the boomers, fire.
That's okay. Yeah, you want to take him out too. <laughs> No, it's like when you kill bulk boomers, then it spawns a knight and the knight comes out and sits on the bridge. Like when we kill when we kill the boomers, you gotta kill the knight that comes out too. I usually leave one. I kill one, I kill the closest one and I leave one, and then as the sword's swinging I'll like I'll I'll like shoot him once or twice with primary. So he's like eyeballing, you know, me and not the sword bearer. But I won't kill him. I usually only kill one. It just makes it easier, because then you don't have to fuck around with it. No, we're just doing this for practice. I mean, do you, do you have to go? Okay. Yeah, he just wanted to practice. He's just kind of learning. I'm just helping him out. That's what Murder Road does. We, we learn. We teach. Besides, I don't want to fucking do sword all the time. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm retarded. I got last word on me, fucking stupid ass. I'm like firing this fucking blue hand cannon. Try to leave some of the alkalites on the right here. I got 20 uh, bullets I gotta shoot up. All right, go ahead. Fire.
Alright, so it's all about the song. You gotta listen to the music. When the music's done, you're fucked. Don't pull right trigger. Because it's gonna immediately pull Galley out. <laughs> and if you're head button Crota, you're gonna blow yourself up, which happens to me all the time. <laughs> So I got him half health. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, because I got shot and splashed. Splashed on ya. I'm gonna pull out a fucking shotgun and wreck him with the shotgun this time. You barely get the, the second go. Oh, that's because uh, we only have three. <laughs> it's a little different when you have less, my friend. I'm giving you the play-by-play -play of how you do it with the full fire team. Damn it, I got stuck on the pole. <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of it. Then you would go in for the last one. Down. Boom. Oh. Yeah, you got him down. That was good. Alright, I'll give you a couple rounds of practice. And then I'm gonna have to call it a day for now. With the, uh, with the hunter, it's the same strategy, only, usually what I do is I pop my super and hit vanish, and then pick up the sword, and then I'm free to kind of pick which rock I want, and then the second that you get close, you can tell him to fire, and you just double jump on the rock, double jump, and then just slice at him, and then you have blink strike. Blink Strike is a talent all on its own to do the, uh, um, I think it's called Ambush. Yeah, to do the Ambush. Right when his shield turns yellow, you need to drop the sword and hit, hit your melee on his leg. And if you miss his leg, you'll, you'll go to stab, but you'll miss and you'll stay visible. And then he'll just nutbag you. And it happens all the time. Other than that... Um, that's probably the easiest way. However, it glitches a lot. So, like, you'll go to, like, hit him with the ambush. And you'll hit him, and you'll hear the dink. And you'll, you'll hear the where it, you're supposed to be invisible, and it will glitch, and you won't be invisible. It's pretty close to what it is. Right? Am I right? That's pretty close to how it sounds. You gotta use your imagination when you're describing stuff, otherwise, uh, you don't visualize. Um, I have to go up the road and take care of a few things. I have a couple applications I gotta fill out. I gotta talk to a manager about a job. And then I'll be back on. I'll definitely fulfill that obligation to help you out because you kinda gave me a hand and stuff and I kinda burned up your morning here. Oh, with the, uh, with the uh, vaults and crota, yeah. That's just, you know, that's just time that I can't devote to right now. I got, like, real life shit to deal with. Alright, so. It, nice. I might, might just have to do that. Alright, well, it's on you. Whenever you're ready to go, you go. Alright, let's go. Leroy Jenkins! Yeah, 
There you go. Perfect. Now go get out of there. Oh, oh, wrong one. Oh, no. <laughs> so I got a force, but then his shield got up right when I Yeah. If only we were not so undermanned, we could knock this out and revive you. I'll practice later. You, you wanna practice? <laughs> If you want to solo it, you throw one nade, drop the sword, two galleys, and then pick up the sword. By the time the second wolf pack hits him, he'll hit the he'll hit a knee. All right. That takes practice. What might help you out on that one is Starfire Protocol, getting two fusion nades, so you can have an extra grenade in case. Because you can throw a grenade and then throw another grenade right away, and then two wolf packs just for insurance. All right, yeah, I'm gonna jump in the shower. Then, um, oh, boot it. So yeah, boot. I'll hit you up when I get back, though. What's up? What were you saying, bud? You were telling me like you gave me two things I have, and one thing I don't have. But the two things I have are not maxed. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing I just don't have. It's like, bruh. Yeah. But keep in mind, when you're doing solo, you can't try for four hits. You gotta do. Yeah, I'm gonna do. You gotta do the right bumper, right bumper, right trigger combo. Where you go, slice, slice. So, so what you do is when when you get the sword, you'll go down there, and you'll just like start slashing away at the thrall because you have an extra like four seconds because you're only doing one hit. You're only doing one half. So. Try to get your super as built up as you can so that when you go after him, you knock him down, you hit him a couple times, then you get your super, and then you do right bumper, right bumper, right trigger, super. And it does then the second you hit right trigger, you do super right away because it'll do, it'll go, um, it'll do like the, um, like the bottom to up, like, uh, diagonal slice. And then you do your super right away. So it's like slice super. Because the super is instant the second you hit both bumpers. It doesn't have to wait for a, a swing. You can jump that in any time. Which is nice. Okay. Alright, guys. Yep. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice. Um, one thing. Uh, one other thing, too, is you can always go to uh, the Fist of Crota and uh, practice the combos. Just by getting a sword and then just swinging the sword around. Just kind of getting the feel for it. That helped me a lot too. And uh, doing the Sword of Crota mission. Um, where you're doing it on something that has a little more health than just a thrall. You can get your combos down on that. Just do, you know, right bumper, right bumper, right trigger super. On one of the princes. And you'll do, and you'll knock him down. Yeah, you can always uh, watch that video, too. Um, I don't know if you watched it, Buddha. Did you watch that shit? Because that was impressive. The, the last combo that I swung at him. Huh? Yeah. Um, the last combo that I swung at him, it was like... Kind of what I'm describing, but with the super at the end. And the super at the end killed him, and it was just like... It was art artistic. <laughs> the beginning of it, you'll you'll see that uh, uh, Michaela is actually suffering from disturbingly bad lag, because I'm standing like right here, and I'm just kind of dicking around, looking around with my super good advice, because it's normal. And she's just like all of a sudden from here, the glass like forms, and then she like runs through the get the glass, goes down here, and then like starts jumping around as the glass is formed already and we're supposed to be in there and then all of a sudden she teleports and I look back and she's like and she's like over here shooting stuff and I'm like what? <laughs> it was cool so it was a couple of cool little easter eggs in that video that are they're cool to know alright guys 
Good luck. Destiny on. I'll see you in an hour or two. Alright. We'll catch you guys later. Be around.